What's up? It's Clarinet Addict here, and I'm going to be making a video today about beginning band for a clarinetist and what all you need to know and what all you need to have before you start band class. So let's just jump right into the video. So first, you're going to want to purchase a clarinet over summer break. So I have a list of some brands that I recommend. There might be other brands out there. These aren't the only ones. I'm going to list to you the model and the brand. And these are all student clarinets, so they're all going to be plastic, so they're going to be the best for you. So we have a Vito Resotone. Any of the Bundy clarinets are just fine. Any of the Selmer clarinets are great. And if you could, I would suggest getting a Selmer. We also have a Buffet B12. We also have a Yamaha YCL255. And we also have a Jupiter... JCL 6375. Those are the ones that you should look out for. Um, we also have some that you need to avoid. Don't ever get these unless it's for a novelty. And this one, you guys are going to absolutely hate me. Do not get the colored clarinets. I don't care how much you like the color blue. I promise you, they spent more time putting the color into the plastic than determining the acoustics and the playability of the clarinet. Don't get me wrong, I've seen some colored Vito clarinets out there that are really nice, and I actually saw an orange one at a flea market and I was gonna get it, and Vito clarinets are great. But brands like Lazaro, Mendini, those are the ones that you're gonna find on eBay that are about 90 bucks, and there's a reason why they're 90 bucks because they're not going to last you. And a lot of the student models are meant for you to drop, for you to go through high school with if you don't want to do music professionally or in an intermediate level. Most people play on those student model clarinets for at least 10 years. So make sure you get a good one. I again suggest the Buffet B12 or any of the Selmers. Those are really great. So make sure you check those out. Now we're going to be looking at the places to purchase those clarinets. So my all-time favorite place to look for clarinets is eBay, and I would suggest eBay to the kids whose parents are already have some experience with musical instruments because your parents will know what to look for on eBay rather than someone who has no idea what they're looking for, and I would suggest going to an actual music store and purchasing the clarinet through them. And most band programs are actually connected to a music store. So most of the kids' instruments are going to be coming through those music stores. The reason I suggest to look in eBay first is because you can find some really good deals for a lot less than the music stores. So my first clarinet was an Artly clarinet. And I still have that clarinet. That's actually what my clarinet lamp is made out of, is my Artly. And I paid, actually my parents paid $300 for that clarinet from the music store. Now, if you take into consideration my Buffet E11, which is an intermediate wooden, very nice German-made clarinet, I got the Buffet E11 for $115 more than the plastic piece of poop student model that I started on. So there's something to consider. eBay has some really good deals. There's also Craigslist. I don't have too much experience with Craigslist, but you can check on there, see if you find anything. Also, Amazon has some decently good stuff. And also you can check flea markets. That's actually where I found my Dumont Pierre clarinet that won't play. And that was in another video, so you can check out the video that's entitled My New Clarinet if you want if you're interested in looking at that. But I actually got this wooden clarinet. Um, it played nicely whenever it did play for 40 no, I got it for $35 at the flea market. So I just need to get it fixed and it, it'll be really good. I mean, it would be a good student model, but it's it's like an intermediate because it's wood and it was only $35. So some people out there buy and resell instruments, don't know what they have, and you could get a steal of a deal off people like that. So after you get the clarinet that you need, you're going to be looking for reeds. And I have a whole bunch. These are my used reeds. 
I'm keeping them and I'm gonna make an art project out of them at some point in my life. So I hope to have a whole lot more than these. I'm very conservative with my reads and I can make them last for at least four months as long as I continue working on them and improving them. So there's not that many in here. But the top read everyone suggests that you start on whenever you're a beginner is a Rico 2 size 2 read. And I don't think it's actually like, it's just the Rico read. It's not any special name. You can get a one and a half or a two. And the sizes are the softness of the read. So the one and a half is gonna be softer than the two. And that's gonna allow you to blow a little bit more and develop your lungs a little bit more before you hit the size two read. Then that is going to bring us to our next topic, which is the cleaning supplies you should have for your clarinet. So you have your clarinet swab, which swabs out the spit in the clarinet and it's very important to swab out your clarinet after each time that you play it even if it's just a couple minutes because whenever you leave the spit in the clarinet it's going to absorb into the pads on the clarinet and it's going to make them they would wear faster so you'd have to get them replaced at some point we also have a polishing cloth now this is for wiping down the keys and after a certain amount of time you're going to get gunk finger oils finger nasties and hope to God you don't get Cheetos on your keys. Please don't eat and play. Let me just say that was a really big problem in my middle school band. But anyways, wipe down your keys with this about every week and it will definitely prolong the life of your instrument. And you are also going to need some cork grease. It's just a little tube that looks like chapstick and it just pushes out like a regular chapstick and you put this on your tinning corks to make sure that you can put your clarinet together easily and not run any of your cork tenants. Now since we have the basics of the clarinet you're going to need, ones to avoid, what you need to clean your clarinet, let's step into the books that you should get for playing. So some books that I have seen a lot of throughout me progressing in my clarinet are The Standard of Excellence, Essential Elements, and that's the book I learned out of as you can see it is old I've had this since sixth grade there is also the Hal, Hal Leonard Rubank book and that's a blue book and get the elementary studies it doesn't mean you're in elementary school it just means it's beginning <laughs> and then there's also accent on achievement then there's a blue book called foundations for superior performance and it's really good for foundations doing long tones and doing leaps and it's a really nice book so you should get that too and I'll have linked in the description all these items that I'm listing so you guys don't have to dig around on the internet you can just click it and find out exactly where they are after you get your books and everything situated and you've played through those a little bit your teachers probably gonna be handing you out actual sheet music and what are you going to do with those to make them organized well I will show you get a decently sized binder because I promise you're gonna use the same binder throughout all of middle school and maybe even high school. So I don't know how thick this is. I've had this one for a while. And you put your music in these little clear sleeve holders. I don't know what they're called, but they're something. And whenever you're playing, you can just sit it on the stand. And it's sort of like that for all your music. And these were all, this is all my high school music that I played on. I actually had a smaller one for middle school. Make sure you grab a binder before you start band class because you will need it. So if you guys have any other questions for some tips and tricks for beginning band class, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you disliked it, give it a thumbs up anyways. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.